Hello Crimson Tide. And recruiting is still going strong at Bama, have you been following along? Before the news, subscribe to the channel. Talking about new recruit Cavani Henry, a promising four-star edge, who recently made his commitment from Mississippi State to Alabama. This move is a clear indication of the program's continued ability to attract elite talent, especially on the defensive side, where it has historically built its reputation and tradition in the college scene. Cavani Henry, who currently plays for Cerritos College in California, arrives with impressive credentials for the 2025 recruiting class. He possesses the physicality necessary to face the best defensive players at the highest level of college football. More than just his physical build, Henry has demonstrated on the field that he has the ability to be a disruptive force. This season, he recorded 19 tackles, 2 sacks and, perhaps most impressively, 12 tackles for loss. These numbers are a clear reflection of his ability to make an impact, whether it's penetrating the line of scrimmage or breaking up plays before they develop. This change in commitment not only strengthens Alabama's defense, but it also weakens SEC rival Mississippi State, where Henry had originally committed. These types of decisions are common in the recruiting world, but they are particularly significant when they involve a high-profile prospect like Henry who is expected to make immediate contributions. With his experience at Cerritos College, he already has a level of physical and mental maturity that could accelerate his transition to SEC football. With DeBoer, Alabama has focused on maintaining its defensive tradition while also adapting to the changing landscape of college football. Henry's recruitment is further proof that the program is committed to continuing to attract players who can make an immediate impact to help this Warrior team. Let's get moving! Speaking about Saturday's game, Milrow gave his opinion, did you see it? The confidence of Jalen Milrow, the current starting quarterback, reflects the team's determination to seek revenge after the bitter defeat in 2022. In that epic matchup, the Tide was defeated in the final seconds by a field goal, in a game that was marked by the invasion of Tennessee fans on the field. Today, however, with Milrow at the helm and a mindset of retribution, Alabama enters as the favorite, even if by a narrow one-point margin. Milrow, who was previously the backup to Bryce Young, seems ready for the challenge that awaits him at Nayland Stadium. I'm pretty confident, he said after practice on Tuesday. The young quarterback stresses the importance of staying focused during the week of preparation, especially in a game so significant for the program. We have a lot of guys in the locker room who recognize the rivalry, Milrow said, signaling the team's spirit and an understanding of the magnitude of this matchup are key to success. For him, the key is simple, prepare, understand the assignments on the field and, above all, have fun playing in a setting that promises to be electrifying. That confidence isn't just individual, but seems to permeate the entire Alabama locker room. The game against Tennessee brings with it not only the weight of the rivalry, but also the challenge of overcoming one of the most painful losses in recent years. The presence of the song Rocky Top, a traditional anthem of games in Knoxville, has been present at Alabama's practice facility this week, to the point that it has already irritated some of the players, such as defensive tackle Tim Smith. It's catchy, it's annoying, Smith admitted. Still, he and his teammates seem determined not to let outside distractions interfere with their preparation. Smith expects a physical matchup, with plenty of scuffling and taunting on the field, which is a common feature of rivalry games. For him, though, the best response to the criticism is to let your performance on the field speak for itself. If someone sits there and tells you you're trash, you're clearly not working hard enough, Smith said, underscoring the mindset that true superiority must be proven by play, not words. That focused, disciplined approach is typical of Alabama under Kalen DeBoer, who has emphasized the need to remain calm in the face of adversity, especially in a tough environment like Nayland Stadium. With experienced players like Smith and a confident quarterback like Milrow, the tide appear poised to face another epic battle against Tennessee. The lessons from last year's loss are fresh in the players' minds, and they know they have a chance to write a new game and a new comeback. Let's get going! 
Three NFL standouts from Bama, how are these guys performing? Another week of the 2024 NFL season has come and gone, and former Alabama Crimson Tide stars continue to shine on fields across the league. Each round, these former players reaffirm Alabama's tradition of excellence, showing that the program's impact extends far beyond college football. In Week 6, some of the greatest talents to ever wear a Crimson Tide uniform stepped up with standout performances, reaffirming their dominant presence at the professional level. One of Alabama's standout defensive standouts in recent years, Will Anderson Jr., had arguably the best performance of his NFL career thus far. In a stunning 41-21 Houston Texans win over the New England Patriots, Anderson excelled in virtually every aspect of the defensive game. With eight tackles, three sacks and four tackles for loss, TFL, he showed why he was one of the most coveted prospects in the draft. Anderson has already established himself as an unstoppable force on the Texans' defense, and with this performance, he leads the NFL with nine TFLs in just six games. His impact on the field has been enormous, and his 5.5 sacks on the year have him as a top candidate for Defensive Rookie of the Year cementing Alabama's tradition of producing elite defenders. Another former Crimson Tide player who continues to dominate is Derrick Henry, now leading the Baltimore Ravens' ground attack. Henry, known for his strength and unstoppable ability, recorded 132 yards and two touchdowns on 24 carries in a 30-23 win over the Washington Commanders. This performance is not only further proof of his dominance, but also puts him at the top of the NFL's all-time stat line. Henry now leads the league with 704 rushing yards and 8 touchdowns, and an impressive 117.3 rushing yards per game. His consistency and ability to set the pace for the Ravens' offense make him one of the most feared and respected running backs in the league, continuing his remarkable career that began at Alabama. On offense, Philadelphia Eagles quarterback Jalen Hurts found his form in Week 6 with a solid performance against the Cleveland Browns. Hurts, who has improved every season since entering the NFL, showed his potential by completing 16 of 25 passes for 264 yards and two touchdowns. He also contributed 33 rushing yards on 14 attempts, showcasing his versatility as one of the league's top dual-threat quarterbacks. With that performance, Hertz surpassed the 1,000-yard passing mark for the year and achieved a season-high passer rating of 126.1. This performance reaffirms his status as one of the NFL's most dynamic and reliable leaders, showing that the Philadelphia Eagles' future is in good hands. These performances are not only a reflection of the individual abilities of these players, but also of the excellence of the Alabama football program which continues to prepare its athletes for success at the highest level. Week after week, the Crimson Tide stars prove that the tradition of developing talent for the NFL is stronger than ever. Everyone at Bama is very happy with the performance of these guys, Anderson, Henry and Hertz, it's Bama tradition, bringing pride to this institution in the NFL. Let's keep going! And speaking of the NFL, this guy, Amari Cooper, who is very well remembered for Bama, is in transition in his career. Cooper, who is already in his 10th season in the NFL, was traded this Tuesday from the Cleveland Browns to the Bills, according to reports, bringing with him a wealth of experience and a history of achievements that makes him a significant addition to the Buffalo team. Amari Cooper is not just one name among many in the NFL, he is one of the most consistent and productive wide receivers of the last decade. During his time with the Browns, Cooper was a key piece of Cleveland's offense, recording more than 1,000 receiving yards in the 2022 and 2023 seasons. Even in the midst of a transitional season, Cooper started all six games for the Browns this year, accumulating 24 receptions for 250 yards and two touchdowns. His numbers, however, only tell part of the story. What really sets Cooper apart is his ability to create plays in crucial moments and his direct impact on the offensive success of the teams he has played for. Now, in Buffalo, Cooper joins a franchise with clear championship ambitions. The Bills, led by Josh Allen, one of the most talented quarterbacks in the league, have consistently sought reinforcements to make their passing attack even more dangerous. 
The addition of a player of Cooper's caliber could be just what the team needs to complement its already formidable wide receiver core. With nearly 10,000 career receiving yards and over 60 touchdowns, the veteran continues to be a threat on the field, and his experience will be key to guiding the Bills in their quest for the Super Bowl. What makes this deal even more significant is Cooper's track record of elevating the level of play of the teams he represents. Since leaving Alabama, where he shined from 2012 to 2014, Cooper has demonstrated, year after year, why he is considered one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. In his three seasons with the Crimson Tide, he not only excelled, but established a lasting mark as one of the greatest wide receivers in program history. His transition to professional football has been nothing short of spectacular, with five Pro Bowl selections throughout his career cementing his status as one of the most consistent and productive wide receivers in the league. As Cooper prepares for his new journey with the Bills, the expectation is that he will bring to Buffalo the same work ethic and talent that made him stand out at Alabama and later in the NFL. His ability to make plays in high-pressure situations and his veteran presence in the locker room will be invaluable to a team looking to cement itself as a championship contender. For Alabama fans, seeing Cooper continue to succeed at the highest level is a constant reminder of the lasting impact the Crimson Tide has had on the world of professional football. With Cooper now in Buffalo, the Bills have gained another powerful weapon in their arsenal, and for Alabama fans, it's another opportunity to follow their players in the NFL. Have you been following this guy's career? At the end of the video, you comment. What about basketball now? Alabama Crimson Tide point guard Mark Sears continues to be a standout on the Bama team. This guy has become a staple. He was recently named to the preseason All-America team by CBS Sports. After a standout season in which he led Alabama to its first Final Four appearance, Sears opted to stay in Tuscaloosa for one more campaign, resisting the temptation to declare for the NBA draft. For Crimson Tide fans, this decision is a cause for celebration, as Sears' presence puts the team in a strong position to pursue a national title. Last season, Sears was a mainstay for Alabama, earning first-team All-SEC and second-team consensus All-American honors. His averages of 21.5 points per game, PPG, 4.2 rebounds, RPG, 4.0 assists, APG, and 1.6 steals, SPG, demonstrate the impact he has had on the team's success. He has been the maestro of the Crimson Tide's offense, driving the team with his scoring and scoring ability, and he has also been a constant threat from the three-point line, shooting 43.6% from deep. Expectations for this season are even higher. With a deeper roster, some believe his numbers could dip slightly, but that doesn't diminish Sears' importance. He continues to be the player coach Nate Oates relies on in the most crucial moments, a veteran leader who carries the program's hopes on his shoulders. Proof of that was the SEC's recognition by naming him the preseason player of the year, and now, his inclusion in the CBS Sports All-American lineup puts him alongside some of the best players in the country such as North Carolina's R.J. Davis and Kansas' Hunter Dickinson. CBS Sports was full of praise in highlighting Sears' importance to Alabama's success. They described him as the only unanimous All-America first-team selection and highlighted his ability as a sharpshooter, citing his central role in the Crimson Tide's offense, which finished as the second most efficient team offensively last season. He was the face of a team that led all 362 college basketball teams in points per game, and he excelled at scoring volume, especially on three-pointers. With Alabama ranked number two in the first AP poll for this season, there is a growing sense that the basketball team has a real shot at a national title, perhaps even greater than the football team. Sears, with his combination of experience, skill and leadership, is at the center of that expectation, and his preseason All-American nod reflects how highly he is valued as a key player in Bama's continued success. Now, I'd like to hear your thoughts on both football and basketball. Let me know in the comments.